Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create an advanced tune shader that reacts to lights. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. The first step that we have to do in almost every scene of all is to delete this cube over here. Now the next step is to press Shift A and add a new cube. I'm just gonna drag this up a little bit, and also I'm going to add a new plane. So that we can see the shadows when we create the shader. Now this is very important. You have to go into render properties. I go down to color management and change the real transform from filmic to standard. Why do we need to do this? Because filmic will actually change the color of your scene, which will create some problem when choosing our color. So the next step is to go on top over here. Drag your mouse over here until it turns into two arrows. Do a right click and do a vertical split. Now I'm going to convert one of them to the shader editor. I'm going to select the cube and create a new shader. Now that we have done that, we have this basic shader over here. So the principal BSDF is for realistic stuff. But we do not want realistic stuff. So what I'm going to do is to delete this node. And next, I'm going to add a node called the diffuse BSDF. This diffuse BSDF is actually the foundation of almost all shaders. You just provide this simple shadow on top of your object. So when you are creating a toon shader, the trick is to think of this mixed node as layers inside Photoshop. So A is the layer below and B is the layer on top. If we look at the result, I can adjust the opacity of the layer below. And this is how the mixed node works. So come back to our diffuse BSDF. We need to convert the shader data to RGB. So I'm going to add a shader to RGB node. Plug the green into the green and plug the yellow into the factor. And congratulations, you have created a tool shader. But this doesn't look great, does it? So we need to improve this more by doing some magic stuff. Alright, so let's do this. So the first node that I'm going to add is the separate color. So with this separate color, please change the mode to HSV. Now connect the color into the color, and I'm going to add another node called the map range. Plug the value into the value. Now if you look at the result, it should show exactly the same thing. But now if you adjust the from max input, you can see that the shadow moves. So this is one of the functionality that we want to give our tune shader. Also, let's go to the world material and make sure that the color is set to black so that the background color does not affect our tune shader. I'm just gonna make some advanced background real quick. So this is kind of a more advanced background. So if I just use the original background node, when I change the color of the background node, you see that it affects our tune shader. But with this new setup, I can change the color of the world to anything I want. And you can see that our shadow of our tune shader is not affected. Now let's go back to object and let's continue our tune shader. Now add a math node and let's set this to ceiling. And plug this in. And let's see the result. And as you can see, we have a cell shaded toon shader now. And if you adjust the from min input of the map range node, you can see that we can move the shadow like this. Like I told you, this is very easy. This is almost too easy. Now let's go down here. I'm going to duplicate this separate color node. And let's plug the output of the shader to RGB into the color of the separate node. Now I'm going to add another node called the combined color node. Be sure to set the mode also to HSV and plug the hue into the hue, saturation to the saturation and set the value to 1. Now let's see the result. It all should look white but if you select the point light in your scene and if you change the color, as you can see the color of the point light is being picked up by our shader. Next what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a mix node. Make sure that this is set to float and plug the output of the ceiling node into the B input of the mix node. Now plug the output of the map range node into the A input of the mix node. 
Now let's see the result of this one. As you can see now, we have a slider here that we can adjust. If you put this on zero, you can see the shadow is smooth. But if you put this on one, you see our shadow is still shaded. Now let's add some color control to our tune shader. Next, I'm going to press Shift A to add a mixed color node. Make sure the mode is set to color and plug the result into the factor. Now let's see the result. So what we can do now is that we can select our base color and our shadow color. The next step is that I'm going to duplicate this mixed color and place it over here. Now plug the color output of the combined color into the B. Now we can change how much the color of the light is affecting our base color. So let's plug this into the B input of our mixed color and then let's see the result again. So right now my tune shader is being fully affected by the color of the point light. Now if I change the color of the point light to something else, you can see our base color change accordingly. But I don't want it to replace my base color, I want it to mix with my base color. So I turn down this factor over here to maybe 0.5. So right now, the A input of this mixed color is going to be the color of the base of our tune shader. Of course, you can do a lot of complex stuff instead of this mixed color, so you can have an even more advanced color mixing. Let's make this into a node group. So select everything except for the material output and press Ctrl G to make this into a group. And you can press Tab to get in and out of the group. And let's name this group Tune Shader. And as you can see now, our group does not have any input. So let's get back into the group by pressing Tab. So we have this group input over here, but nothing is connected to this. So let's connect some inputs. I want to be able to control the smoothness of my tune shader. So I'm gonna connect this mix factor into the group input. Next, I want to be able to control the position of my shadow. So I'm gonna connect from min and from max into the group input. And of course, I want to be able to control the base color and the shadow color. So I'm gonna connect the A input of this mix color and also the A input of this mix color into the group input also. And next, I want to plug this factor of this mixed color into the group input so that I can control the blending of the lights. You can press N to see the side panel and I'm going to rename this accordingly. And I prefer this base color to be on top and also the shadow color. Oh, almost forget. Let's connect the norm of our diffuse BSDF into the group input also. So right now, if you press tab to get out of this node group, you have this beautiful node group that you can use in any scene you want. You can adjust the base color and also the shadow color. You can adjust if you want it to be cell shaded or not. And you can adjust the shadow position too. You can also blend the light color of the environment. And you have this normal input that you can plug the normal texture into this tone shader. And voila, that's it. This is our tune shader. And next, I'm going to use this in a real scene so that I can demonstrate how to use this. So I'm gonna press save and I'm going to open a scene. And now look at this. I have this scene over here. And you can see this box does not have a material yet. It looks sad, so I'm going to give it some mercy. So let's go to file and append. I'm going to navigate to my tune shader file. Click on it and click on node 3. And you can see our tune shader over here. Now select that and click append. Now let's edit the material of this cube. I want to select the cube and make a material. Over at the shader editor, and search for tune shader. Now I'm going to plug the result into the surface. And voila, look at that. I'm gonna adjust the base color of my cube. And with the power of Blue Engine, I can also add an outline to this cube. I'm gonna mix it with a mixed color. And yeah, look at that. Almost too easy. So that concludes my tutorial. Until the next video, stay positive and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!